Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and this is to talk about all of you that have decided to go into the Insider program for the uh, Windows 11 versions that are distributed there. Um, first of all, remember, I'll post the link again. I got a Windows Insider channel. We deal with Insider stuff there. I don't talk really much about Insider's stuff here. But a lot of you have been posting that you've been running this and that you've been having problems. I have mentioned over and over again that you are testing beta software. This is incomplete. This does not have all the features that are supposed to be here. This does not have uh, stability that you would require of an official Windows build. So it's extremely important to understand that this should not be run uh, as, as your main PC, first of all. And this should not be run unless you know what you're doing. Um, immediately when I see people saying, well, I got problems, is this normal? You're testing software that is unfinished. There, Actually, Microsoft has released a list, quite an extensive list of all the bugs and the known issues that is in here that they already know about. Um, if you are not ready to have problems, do not run the insider builds. This is test software. Now, this is not the official release or finished version of Windows 11 at all. There are going to be updates, a lot of updates in the next weeks and months on this thing to update all the features, fix all the bugs, and that in, um, you know, before it's released officially early next year. So um, that's something to uh, very important to know. Too many people have jumped on, oh, I'm going to install this now. Yeah, but you're, you're installing stuff that is meant to be tested, not an official operating system that is good to go. Very important to know that. So if you are one of those, and there's a lot on the channel that have um, put comments about it, they're having issues with this, of course, nothing's perfect. Um, if I've ran into some of the little bugs that they have actually mentioned in this version of Windows 11, and that's part of testing the software. You want it to go there and you want it to test it, you have to understand the risks that go with it also, as this is an insider build. So that's why I'm telling everybody, stay on Windows 10. And if you ever want to have Windows 11 and you're compatible with it, you'll get it next year when it's officially released. And that's it. There's things missing. People, oh, well, I don't see the Amazon store with the uh, Android apps. Nope, it's not there yet. It's not there yet. We don't know when it's going to show up. But it's not there yet. So uh, that's for sure. So there are stuff missing. There are things that are probably going to be added over time. And, um, you know, eventually this is going to be finished. And when it is, then we'll, you know, it's going to move on to other rings in the Insider program. But right now, test software. Don't go there unless you're prepared to have issues and problems. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.